connection with the sensor under the skin is made via the cable. The implantation of the other leg takes place according to the same principle. In the following five days, the body bridges the gap caused by the severance of the bone with soft connective tissue. This connective tissue is pulled apart by the telescopic mechanism of the nail at a distance of one millimeter per day. In order to bridge the widening gap, a constant regeneration of tissue takes place which in turn activates an ossification process starting at the bone ends. Similar to a bone fracture, the body replaces the entire connective tissue with bone, which matures and solidifies in the following four to nine months. After this phase has been concluded, the lengthened legs are once again completely resilient to stress. One and a half to two years after the initial operation, the telescopic nails are removed during a second operation. The treatment is now complete. Each day, lengthening the limb a little more. The exact biological mechanism isn't totally understood, but the new bone seems every bit as strong as the rest of the limb. And, in a new breakthrough, the cumbersome apparatus will be replaced with an internal pin that is progressively lengthened using a remote-controlled antenna. The team is also able to use the technique cosmetically for people who, for whatever reason, would like to have longer legs. It's an example of using the body's own natural healing properties and repurposing them to create the Bionic Man. So with race walking, it's a little different. It's not the slow pace that you have in a stroll in the park or just walking through a mall. It's a determined movement with a purpose. Your arms are swinging from ear to your hip, and then your hips are swaying, and then your feet are rolling from heel to toe. That's how you race walk.